Hello, let's talk about the equipment to photograph an object VR. Several years ago, I created a course on Udemy and it has been very successful. However, the equipment and software have improved. So along with updating the entire course, I'm going to add a module on photographing object VR. In this video, I'm going to show you the unboxing of four items from Orange Monkey. These make object VR photography a real breeze. First is a portable light studio that comes in three different sizes. I happen to have the 25 inch version. There's a Foldio 360 turntable for spinning your objects automatically using your phone. The Halo bar set for additional light and a Foldio 360 extension kit to make the platter bigger for larger objects. Here are the four packages that we're going to look at today from Orange Monkey. Let's begin with the light tent. This is a 25 inch foldable studio. They do make two smaller versions. That's all you really need. It's really small, very compact. It comes with a black background, which we're not going to demonstrate today. And it comes with a white background. The foldable studio opens up. You can keep your power strip inside of it. Notice there are double sets of magnets. Each of these pop out and simply connect to the next set. Snap, snap. And that's it. You've got your foldable tent ready to go. We're now going to install the backdrop. There are Velcro stickers in here in various strategic places. You simply stick it in place, roll it down, stick the last two, and you now have your studio ready to go. With the background in place, all we need to do now is plug in our power supply and using the hand remote, we can control how bright or how dim the LED lights are at the top and how they flood the background. If you're just doing product photography, you can just set your product right there, shoot your picture, and you're done. You may need some additional lighting. So we have our foldable halo bar set, which we'll look at next. This would work great if you had a black background and you needed less light on the background and more light on the subject. This comes with two sets of lights. They just plug in the top and then there's a groove here in the back. If you want, you can run your cord down there to kind of keep it snug. This end that's gray actually has a magnet in it and it sticks right there to the magnet that's built into our case. Very well designed, very well thought through. This other one similarly connects over here and then the power cord plugs into the second opening on your controller and the halo lights are controlled with this second roller so you can brighten or dim them to provide lighting on the surface of your subject or if you need even more light you can actually take them and clip them to the magnets here on the side and now you can have light on the bottom tip them up put it on the background or wherever so the halo lights provide a really nice option for additional light. They're LED, of course, so there's no heat generated. The next thing we'll look at is the turntable for doing objects. This turntable, very simple design. You've got a light here on the front for doing infrared control of your digital SLR camera. You've got an additional halo light on the back to help isolate your subject from the background. The power cord hides right here on the front. Just plug it in. The blue light is on. The halo light flashed on there really quickly. 
On my phone, I open the Foldio 360 app. It asks me to connect to an available turntable. So I select the one that shows up, self-registers. Now down here is a slider. I'll turn it so you can see it. I can control the brightness or dimness of the halo light. It's going to be shining on the background. And I can also control the number of stops it makes on a rotation. So if I was photographing an object and I wanted 24 shots of this around, I could set this to 24, I'd hit start, and it would rotate, take a picture, it would rotate some more, take a picture, and I could just go off, eat a donut, come back, and all the shots would be taken on my camera. Now, if you have a little bit larger object, obviously when you back your camera up and shoot into this tent, you're going to be clipping the sides over here. So we need another background that goes horizontally around to hide this. So I'm going to move this out of the way. With my Folio 360 Plus, it comes with a larger tray and it comes with an additional background to go horizontally. And it has a little indicator for up. So let me pull this over once again. It's integrated into the magnet system that holds the tent together. So I put that clip it to that magnet right there, simply unroll it. It's got another magnet here, I just wrap it around, click it in place, and I now have my seamless background that direction. You can see this is shiny on the back, that's so that the infrared controller here can kind of bounce its way out and up to your camera. To install this, I found it's easiest to hold it upside down, place the turntable on top inside of the white circle, hold them together and just flip it over. And now I'm ready to do larger objects. Once again, I've got my lighting control of the LED lights at the top. I've also got my halo light down at the bottom, which in this case is a little bit hidden. And remember, I've got these lights, which I can position if I need to, magnetically to the side, or I could put them on, just set them out there to light my object. All in all, this is a very well thought out system with lots of different options to start small and then to enlarge and upgrade over time. I think you're really going to enjoy the Orange Monkey products for doing object, VR, and static product photography. Look for my course on Udemy, which will contain the module on product photography and object VR photography. In there, I will cover in depth how each piece of equipment from Orange Monkey is used, along with a digital SLR camera and object to VR software used to generate the product views. For your convenience, I will add a link in the description.